Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to uh, garrulously say that the title for this morning is Royal Pollutants. Royal Pollutants. That is Royal Pollutants. That is a Royal Pollution. Now, the Royal Pollutants that I'm talking about can be found in 2 Samuel 23, uh, onwards. I mean, Second Samuel 20. Do you remember the story of um, David and Absalom? Absalom was the favorite son of David. And Absalom, one way or the other, usurped his father's position as a king. And uh, he did a coup d'etat against his, his father. Now, and uh, he had wanted to, uh, to remove his father and kill his father and um, take over the throne. And in actual fact, he nearly succeeded because um, he yeah, he, he managed to drive David out of Jerusalem, out of his palace, and for David had to go into exile. And before a civil war restored David. Now, now here's the principle. When David was leaving uh, his palace, there were 10 concubines there that he asked, he told them, stay. He said, we shouldn't all leave, but stay in the palace. So that when I return, I mean, hey, at least we have remnant we have people in the palace and David asked them to stay and they stayed and the Bible said Absalom you know uh, somebody gave Absalom a very interesting advice he said listen pick up your father's wives pick up your father's concubines and sleep with them on top of the of the of, on the rooftop sleep on uh, on top of the palace let the whole of Israel see you sleeping with your father's concubines they come in one by one, one by one. So maybe today, morning, it is this person's afternoon, evening, or maybe if Absalom is a machine or whatever it is, you know. But that advice, and Absalom carried it out, I mean, to the letter. I mean, Absalom carried out that thing to the letter. And the Bible says those concubines that Absalom slept with. The Bible said when David won the victory, when David took back the throne, when David won the victory, he put them aside. When he came into the palace, he put them aside and never touched them. Had no intimacy with them, never touched them. And uh, I'm wondering, they're his wives. He asked them to stay and they stayed. So what's the problem? Why doesn't he want to do anything with them? And I realized that here, they, they were in the king's palace. They were eating the king's food, drinking the king's wine, but they had no intimacy with the king. They could never have given birth to the next king. They've been deprived of raising another king. Now here's the interesting thing, and for me, this is what began to strike at me. You know one thing, by Absalom sleeping with them, they had come into a certain type of knowledge, or certain types of knowledge, and that knowledge was going to cloud their relationship with David. Number one, they had come into a carnal knowledge of Absalom. They had not come to a place of comparison. They could either compare sizes or they could comp compare prowess. Or they could compare uh, flair and they could compare. I mean, they, they had come to the place. Absalom is better than his father in bed. Absalom is more sizable. Absalom is more pleasant. Absalom is all those things. Forgive my language, but that's exactly what it is. They had come into a particular knowledge. And then the second thing that is very, 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 very powerful was that if they get pregnant and David returns and David also takes them um, and, and, and has uh, intimacy with them, whose child is it going to be? The children they are going to bear, there's going to be clouds around them. Are they Absalom's or are they David's? That's the issue. So the fruits they were going to bear, you can't describe it. The, the fruit is amorphous. The fruit is in, 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 in indeterminate. The, 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 the fruit that they're going to be, you, you can't tell who, who fathered them, who seared those children, who seared those sons. And so the, 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 the throne, if those people are going to be eligible for the throne, 
Was it, you know, we're not sure whether it's Absalom that sired them or it was, it was David. And to avoid that controversy, they were living in the king's palace, eating the king's food, drinking the king's wine, but they had no intimacy with the king. You'll be very surprised. This applies. When there is a rebellion or when there is uh, uh, an uprising, when there's a rebellion, sometimes people get contaminated. And once those people get contaminated, it now becomes difficult. They'll be in the house. They'll be in the church. They'll be in all those things. But they will not have intimacy with the pastor or with the leader. Why? Because seeds of mistrust. They have come to the place to compare. So sometimes when leadership is talking to them, they are looking at leadership through the eyeglasses they've been made to wear by other people. The expertise of, of, of Absalom now measures or gauges the expertise of David. The intensity of Absalom measures the intensity of David. It's in comparison to the intensity of David. The pleasure Absalom gives is in comparison with the pleasure David gives. Moreover, you're not even sure of the fruit. Because sometimes they have the tendency to evaluate issues through the eyeglasses of negativity that has been sold into them. So how sadly, you see churches, you see places, they live in the king's house, they eat the king's bread, and they, they are fed and they drink the king's wine, but they have no fellowship with the king. And it's just a fact of life. You know one thing? They have been polluted. Royalty has polluted them. Absalom was royal. And he had polluted those people. So therefore, they were not ready to be impregnated by David. And that's what it is. It becomes difficult to speak truth. To make, impregnate people with truth. Impregnate those people with the truth. It becomes very difficult. Because the way everything that you say or you do through the eyeglasses that have been forced upon them by their experience and intimacy and fellowship with the wrong people. So sometimes your fellowship with the wrong people is going to mar what God even wants to do with you. Your fellowship with the wrong people is going to be a challenge because you have, you, you have received so much garbage your mind is filled with garbage. Your mind is filled with mistrust. Your mind is filled with doubt. Such a way that it is very difficult. Virginity has been removed from you. Innocence has been removed from you. Watch what you fellowship with. Royal pollutants. Your choice.